Mic check. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome in. I've reacted to a couple of KSI tracks, I believe. I think the last one that I reacted to was his Lil Wayne track. He even, I think he even like put it in one of his videos. I don't remember. I think it was a reaction video of him reacting to people reacting to his music, all Bo Burnham style type shit. Yeah, I remember liking that one. I remember not really being a fan of his debut EP or like there was a lot of drill tracks on there and I just thought the mixing and mastering wasn't that great. He could be a decent rapper. But I'm always going to have the mentality that he has the, not the fame, but the popularity of being a rapper, not through the skills of rapping and musician, but more so because he's already internet famous. He's one of the most famous YouTubers ever. And I applaud him for that. But being somebody that is diehard into rap music, that is obviously going to be something where you have an asterisk on your name. Anytime that you put out a track and it gets at the time of this recording, which is two weeks late, 28.7 million views. I don't think that the rapping talent as of right now, from what I've heard, really aligns with that level of viewership. I'm aware that that level of viewership and the level of video and the level of production and mixing and mastering and features that he can get, they're all because he's in the public eye. Your attention is really what makes the world turn. Uh, and he has a lot of it, so people want to work with him, obviously. I think this is the track, but there's been a lot of heat around this track. Uh, and just so you know, I'm going in as open-minded as can be. I don't ever want to hate somebody's music. I don't want to ever hate somebody's craft right out of the gate. So I'm always open-minded regardless of what came, regardless of the criticism it's receiving. Uh, but I'm excited. Uh, follow us on Twitch, ladies and gentlemen. We normally do these things live. I haven't gone live because I just got back from vacation at the time of this recording. You don't need to know that, but we do all the music reactions live on Twitch for the most part. Uh, link in the description. Join us on Fridays and Saturdays and Tuesdays generally. Uh, also, join Patreon if y'all guys want to support the channel. I know I'm talking to a lot of KSI fans, so if this reaction doesn't go the way you want it to go, just know if this is your first time here, I'm not the reactor that's going to hype up your boy. I'm going to tell you like it is. It kind of makes me the bad guy around this space. If you want to join Patreon, join. Link in the description. All that shit. Let's just get it, bro. <laughs> I'm in the thick of it. Everybody knows. They know me where it snows. I skied in and they froze. I don't know, no nothing, but no ice. I'm just cold. 40 something mini stuff or so. I've been told. I'm in my prime, but this ain't even final form. They don't uh, the hook. I'm sure that's the hook, right? I'm going to hear that again. I mean, not the greatest, bro. It's, and again, it, the bars are just not good. Okay. And that's kind of what I based my, I, I built my whole channel, whatever you want to call it. It might be small to you, might be big to some, but I've kind of been known as the guy that catches the bars and points them out. But. Now that I'm the bad guy, I also need to point them out when they're not good. I'm in the thick of it, everybody knows. They know me where it snows, I skied in and they froze. I don't know no nothing, but no ice, I'm just cold. 40 something mini stuff or so, I've been told. See, like, I don't know nothing about no ice, I'm just cold. It's what I'm talking about, the rapping capability. KSI, I'm not gonna talk shit. OK, so if you're watching this and you're hating all the reactions that you see and you're blocking everybody, I'm not talking shit. I'm just giving it to you straight. You're older now. You're an adult. I think you're over 30, uh, just like I am. Somebody's got to not be the yes man in your life. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have made the song at all. And I know we're only 18 seconds in, but not saying that it's like. You just got to work on the craft, my boy. That's it. You just got to work on the craft. This is somebody should have heard this in your camp. This is featuring Trippy Red. A uh, A-list, maybe B-list at that at this point, rap artist. Somebody in your camp or his camp, I guess if they're getting paid, they don't really care, but somebody should be telling you, yo, that is not a good bar. That is not good. We need to we need to switch that up. I'll, I'll reserve this most comment, the comment that I have right now for the very end. I'm in my prime, but this ain't even final four. They know me down, but still my feet, they find the floor. I went from living room straight up to sold out doors. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, this is very trippy red style of music with the acoustic guitar and you know like the string. You can hear like the the fingers running on the drum on the uh, guitar strings. Like it's a very trippy red esque beat, which I expect because trippy red's on the track. But yeah, there's just there's just some weak bars in here, bro. That kind of like that kind of keep you. I hate to say it, KSI, because I do feel like this is a stigma that does exist. But you are just the 40 million subscriber level of a YouTube rapper.
That's it. Just from hearing the first couple of bars, that's what it is. The first bar of the verse states that I'm not even in my final form. That's corny, bro. That's cheesy. Like, I get it. Dragon Ball Z, we're tapping into the anime market type shit. But at this point, YouTube rapper, just a very large one. So that was life's fire, but trust I'm ready for the war. Whoa, this is how the story goes. Whoa, I guess this is how the story goes. I'm in the thick of it, everybody knows. They know me where it snows, I see it and they froze. I don't know, no, nothing but no ice, I'm just cold. Forty sun and many subs or so I've been told. From the Oh, brother, this guy st Do I need it? Do I even need an explanation right there, bro? Do I even need to give you an explanation right there? How the fuck is the bottle of prime going to be bigger than you are that she's cutting you out of the ice? I, I bro, I fucking knew it. I didn't want to sound like I had seen the music video before, but I knew this is no. Oh, man. Th oh, I was going to save it for the end, but I'm letting you know right now. This shit right here is no better than buy that merch. This is no better than buy that merch. And that was fucking 10 years ago. My nephew that did buy that merch was eight, I think. Bro, oh man. And I mean, I guess if you're gonna tap into the market of Twitch streamers and YouTube watchers and kids that are dead ass loyal to your, to your success, they're loyal to the brand that you've built, the brand that you and your boys have built, which I do respect, by the way. I respect the brand, Sidemen, the whole thing. If you are catering to that market, I guess, but this is kids bop of rap, bro. Like you can cater to that market all you want, go get your bag, but don't try to come up over here and tell me that this is real rap. Don't tell me that this is dead ass. It might be dead ass product placement and dead ass for your community, but this is not dead ass rap. And I know people are going to flame me for this, for saying this, but in the first minute of this track, I'm probably a better rapper than KSI. And I'm not even, I'm not even talking shit. Like dead ass, I'm probably a better writer, rapper than KSI is. No ice, I'm just cold. 40 sun and many subs are so high and tall. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the king. Where's my crown? That's my bling. Always draw my when I ring. See, I believe that if I see it in my heart Smash through the ceiling cause I'm reaching for the stars Whoa. Smash through the ceiling cause I'm reaching for the star, bro I'm reaching for the stars Whoa. This is how the story See, nobody's gonna think this about Trippy Red, but I'm gonna say it because I'm an adult. Trippy, there's there should be no fucking way that you're on this track. This is how I know that you just did it for the money, which is okay. Maybe that's all you're in the rap game for is for the money, for the glitz, for the fame. Trippy's music doesn't strike me as one where we care about lyricism or, or rap in general. I do understand the genre that he's in. It's like emo rap. It's different. But are you not embarrassed, Trippy Red? I don't know if anybody's ever asked you this, but are you embarrassed? I know that it's, I know the amount of money that you made on this was probably lucrative. There's nothing to be embarrassed about of that. But do you even listen to this song? Do you even go back and listen? Or listen, are you like, damn, that was horseshit? I'm never gonna. That's cringe. I'm never gonna turn that on in my life. Don't even remind me that I did that, because that's how I would be. Highway to heaven, I'm just cruising by my lone. They cast me out, let me for dead and people call. My faith in God, mine in the sun, I'm by the soul.
That story needs to be at fucking half price books right now or go get a refund on it or something because what the fuck, bro? Again, I'm not talking shit about it. I'm trying to be as critical as I can in, in terms of like criticism that is worth criticism. Like I'm not just talking shit because the whole internet's talking shit. You know what I mean? But bro, there's dead ass no way. Imagine the amount of, I mean, I know he's not signed to like a record label and got to go to the A&R, the exec to clear the album, whatever the fuck. But just imagine the sheer, the sheer amount of people that had to have heard this, that yes manned it all the way out until release. Is, is there nobody like me? Are you scared of, of get, like getting thrown out the circle of KSI circle? I don't know if he has yes men around. I'm pretty sure he stays loyal to his boys, but his boys are getting paid by him. So are they really, are they really going to give constructive criticism like that especially if it's like the same criticism over and over and over like bro this is not it this is not it this is not it like is ksi gonna be like damn this isn't it or nah you're a hater get out of my circle because this is not it the fucking prime ad dead ass center in the middle of this bro this is buy that merch all over again but i thought we had evolved 10 years of like growth and 10 years of music and youtube rap music have we evolved since then apparently not the instrumental the arrangement of this track ass ksi's verses verse and the hooks not good trippy red shit phoned it in didn't even fucking try this shouldn't have even made it past round like two or three of edit i always say it on my channel like whenever we're listening to a fucking banger of a track I'm like, hey, yo, I just know that they were in the studio saying play that back and then they're listening to it and they turn to each other like, bro, we just went fucking crazy. There's no way that that happened in this in this studio. There's no way that they played this shit back and we're like, that's the one right there. And if they did say that, we got much bigger problems. KSI, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to say that you're only popular music wise because of uh, your YouTube fan base. I want to say that you have the talent for it. And I'm not saying that you don't. You could be a diamond in the rough. You need hundreds and millions of years of pressure. Because right now, the rap skills are just Cole. And not J. Cole. Just Cole.